Hey folks, Carl here and welcome to the next build series. Okay folks, so what is next? We've had this kit in the stash for some time. We bought it on one of the ISM Friday night auctions and we bought it from Ivan. So this is going to be the next build and it is my first plane build. So first of all we're going to take a look at what's inside the box. Okay folks here we have the instructions. So we have a nice intro, a little bit of information about the BF109G. Two, and then we're on to sprue layouts. Uh, anything marked in blue is surplus to requirement. So it looks like there's quite a lot on these sprues that are not needed. Um, this will be my first plane build, so I should be following the instructions quite uh, closely. And cockpit first. Then onto the main fuselage and yeah, starting to put the wheels together and doing all the engine cowlings. Rear tail, wings, uppers and lowers, connecting it to the main body, adding the flaps and ailerons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yep, and then all this stuff underneath the uh, on the bottom side of the wing. We've got the air intake there. Yep, flaps, all that kind of stuff onto the main wheels. Connecting the main wheels on, and it's then onto canopies and propeller. We can have either an open canopy or a closed canopy. So. Decisions, decisions, and then we're on to just the final touches of the plane. So it looks like we have a mask set to go with this. And I've used a mask set before, so yeah, don't know how to use that. And we're on to paint schemes. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to do one of the winter schemes, either this one. Or this one. There's a slight mottle effect on these as well, so that'll be uh, interesting. Something like this, but not quite as pronounced. So we have several choices, but like I say, I think it's going to be one of the winter schemes. And then we're on to the stencils, which we have. Yeah, it's a whole pile of very, very small stencils. And of course the, the standard larger ones. So that's the instructions. We also have some photo etch, some coloured photo etch. So never used coloured photo etch before. Quite a few bits and pieces on here. I've got the seat belts, like I say, the coloured for the uh, the dials, all there, and some other bits and pieces. So. That's the instructions and the other bits and pieces. We then move on to clear parts, and these are not too bad. I'm not an expert, so I wouldn't really know what it is that I am looking for. They look clear. There's a slight little effect when you look through them at the cutting mat. But yeah, for the most part, they look okay. And then we've got the, the main body. Plenty of detail on that. So. so there we have the main body, got all the rivet detail. This tail piece and again on the other side of the body. Plenty of rivet detail. 
and of course on the inside of these pieces we have a little bit of cockpit detail same on the other side a few wires and bits and pieces levers and stuff like that so that is that part and we're then on to well, it looks like we have two wing sections that are identical however there is a very slight difference here there's a little bit of a bump there and I'm not sure what that's for I, I suppose reading through the instructions is going to let us know but again the detail is very good there's a few marks of how the plastic sat in the mould but you're not going to see that once it's painted up so it's going to be interesting filing and sanding with this rivet detail because the videos I have watched see a lot of people doing re-riveting things and re-scribing panel lines and things like that now I don't own any scribers or riveters or anything like that so we shall see how we get on maybe the next set of purchases purchases easy for me to say huh we've had a little bit come off one of the sprues there so next we have one of the main big sprues On here is all the other ancillary bits and pieces. We have some of the flaps. Uh, some of these, these might be fuel tanks with the rear tail. And other little bits and pieces. Bits of the wheels or landing gear. Yeah, again, the detail is nice. Crisp, sharp, no flash or anything like that. Not that I can see at the moment. So that's the first big one. And we have the other big one which has and he's off. Propellers. Wheels. Well tires, they're not the actual wheels. And these are the wheels here and then some very small pieces. Struts for the uh, the landing gear. So that is it, that is everything that is in the box. So this, like I say, this is my first attempt at a Hero plane. So I'm going to go off and do a little bit of research by watching a few people build aeroplanes. I might go and watch some of the stuff that Ivan's done, I see as I had this kit from him. And of course there's always plenty of other people out there on the internet that are building aeroplanes. So I'm going to go take a look. So I shall talk to you very very shortly. Okay folks, so I've taken a look at a few videos and I was correct in assuming that we will build up the cockpit first and we will then paint the cockpit and while we paint the cockpit, we, excuse me, we will also paint this inner section here as well. So I am going to strip out all the parts I need and we'll be back in a moment. Okay folks, we have our first few bits off the sprues. Now we need to get this section here into here. But first of all, this needs sanding down so we are going to use our new tweezers ones that grip to hold this while we take off there's a little bit of flash around the outside edge of that that we are going I'm going to attempt to take off so it's not a lot it's going to need a very 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 light touch with the Coarse piece of that coarse sanding stick. I'm just going around the edges. Got a tiny little bit of flash off. There's not a huge amount on there. You probably wouldn't even notice it if we left it on. 
I know it's there. So I'm just going to go around. Nice and gentle. And take it off. Keep looking up to the camera just to make sure I'm staying on camera because you could get distracted. And bring it closer to your face. And of course, these old eyes, I am using my uh, magnifying headset to watch this with. So that is that, and this will just push on. We're going to have to make sure we get this out of detail. <laughs> yes. Awkward, yes. So on there, there's a bit of outer detail. I'm going to focus. There we go. We have to make sure that it's in towards the seat. So that will just push into this hole there. So we'll just push that in and it will hold itself in place. Now the second part of this, this We'll glue onto that but in between that and this there is a small piece of photo edge so I'm going to go get the rest of the plastic prepped and ready because we have the seat to do the gear lever etc etc so we are going to go and get all of that done so I'll talk to you in a moment okay folks we have had our first victim to the carpet monster and that is we zoom right in the other way to here you can see this piece of photo etch here now between this piece of photo etch and this wheel there is a chain and oh dear that's fallen over I'll sort that in a minute and it connects into that circle there and onto that part there now this went flying and it took that piece with it and I've locked and locked and I cannot find it so I will stick that back on in a moment so I'm going to see if I can find something else to do that with another thing I've found putting this piece of photo etch on here and there's two more one there and one there. Now there's raised detail on this, so we've had to sand that down. And well, we sort of shaved it off with a knife and sanded it down. So we can get these on flat. So I'm going to get these two on, cut them out, and get them on, and we shall continue. We've got the joystick in place. We still need some touching up around here. This little gap there. But it's starting to take shape. So. Oh told you in a moment okay folks that is the cockpit done as far as we can take it we have several pieces of photo etch in here we have the instrumentation there and we have the foot pedals in and the only photo etch left to go into here now will be the seat belts and the instrumentation panel which are already colored so we are going to give this 24 hours to dry up and all the super glue set rock solid. We will then put the back panel on that goes on this side here and we will get it into primer. Um, now I've also taken the two halves of the main body off the sprue. Uh, cleaned up all the uh, the gates and stuff and already if we push that front end together as it should be the back end's quite far apart um, and there's already as you can put, maybe able to see just on top of there there's already gaps and stuff that we're going to need to fill so I am, by the looks of it, going to get to do some scribing. 
So, anyway, we can fiddle around with that on the next episode. Um, so yeah, cockpit's done. Fiddly little thing um, compared to what I'm used to doing. Um, the photo edge, apart from the bit that went flying, hasn't been too bad. The main problem is getting it stuck in place. Um, I haven't got any super glue activator that makes it dry really really quick so it's a matter of holding it in place moving it to where we want it and then just leaving it to dry naturally so that is on my to buy list so there we go there's a few little bits left in here that need sanding off I've left them on for now because It'd be easier to sand them once everything's dry and stuck in place. So, we're going to call this episode here. I'm not sure how long we've been, but I'm guessing it's around about the 15 20 minute mark. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Be good, be safe, and as always, keep making models, and we shall catch you next time. Ta-ta.